Cast iron is one of the oldest ferrous metals available for commercial use. It is primarily composed of iron and carbon with a small amount of silicon, manganese, phosphorus, and sulfur. It has a relatively high carbon content of 2% to 4%. It is manufactured by remelting pig iron with coke and limestone in a furnace. Due to its high carbon contents, it is brittle and has low ductility. It has good compressive strength, but poor tensile and shear strength. Cast iron solidifies as a heterogeneous alloy, meaning it contains multiple constituents or materials in different phases within its microstructure. This mixed microstructure is what gives the various types of cast iron the distinctive physical properties. The composition of cast iron, the method of manufacture, and the heat treatment employed are critical in determining its final features. To obtain the best cast iron casting for a particular application consistent with the component requirements, it is necessary to have an understanding of the various types of cast iron. This video explains each of these various types of cast iron. Welcome to James Sword Research Channel, like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification icon for more contents. Cast iron can be divided into five groups based on composition and metallurgical structure. They are Grey cast iron White cast iron Malleable cast iron Nodular cast iron Compacted graphite cast iron Grey cast iron Grey cast iron is the most widely used cast iron, containing between 2.5 to 4% carbon, with other alloying elements such as silicon, manganese, phosphorus, and sulfur. It is the oldest and most common form of cast iron. Therefore, many people assume it is the only form of cast iron, and the terms cast iron and grey iron are used interchangeably. Grey cast iron has a high silicon content. The silicon promotes the formation of graphite during solidification. The microstructure of grey cast iron results from the proper control of the alloy additions and slow cooling rates. When a grey cast iron fractures, the path of the cracks follows these graphite flakes and the fracture surface appears grey. Grey cast iron has no ductility because of the presence of the graphite flakes, but has high compressive strength and low tensile strength. The free graphite in its structure helps retain lubricant. For this reason, it is perfect for parts where sliding action is desired. The tips of graphite flakes are sharp and pointed and may serve as the point of stress concentration which leads to poor toughness. The fluidity of liquid cast iron, and its expansion during solidification from the formation of graphite, has made this metal ideal for the production of shrinkage-free intricate castings such as automobile cylinder blocks, machine tool bodies, etc. White cast iron. White cast iron is a type of cast iron in which carbon is present only as carbides. It is hard and brittle and cannot be machined easily. It has high tensile strength and low compressive strength. White cast iron is produced when grey cast iron solidifies rapidly. The microstructure of white cast iron contains massive cementite and perlite. Cementite is the hardest element of iron and it causes rapid cooling of the molten iron. White cast iron contains low silicon contents which inhibits the precipitation of carbon as graphite. White cast iron derives its name from the white crystalline crack surface observed when a casting fracture occurs. It is utilized for inferior casting and places where abrasion resistance is important, such as cement mixers, ball mills, and extension nozzles. White cast iron is generally considered unweldable. Nodular cast iron. Nodular cast iron, also known as ductile cast iron or spheroidal graphite cast iron, is a cast iron where the graphite is in the form of spheres or nodules instead of flakes. This is accomplished through the addition of a small amount of magnesium to the ladle or mold just before pouring. Magnesium converts graphite of cast iron from a flake form to a spherical or nodular form. The spherical graphite particles do not form a continuous crack-like network in the matrix-like graphite flakes, resulting in higher strength and toughness compared with grey cast iron of similar composition. Nodular cast iron usually has a perlitic matrix. They are widely used in crankshafts, piston and cylinder heads, rolls for rolling mills, switch boxes, motor frames, circuit breaker parts, 
hoist drums, drive pulleys, bearings, etc. Ostempered ductile cast iron is a subclass of nodular cast iron. Ostempered ductile cast iron has the same spherical or nodular graphite as normal ductile cast iron, but the matrix is a combination of binite and stabilized austenite. To produce ostempered ductile cast iron, the high strength grades of ductile iron are quenched and tempered to form a binite like matrix, a process called ostempering. Note, ostempering is a heat treatment process in which a metal alloy is heated to the hardening temperature within the austenite range, then cooled rapidly to a specific lower temperature above the martensite start of the alloy. Held at that temperature for a time sufficient to produce the desired binite microstructure. Ostempered ductile iron provides twice the strength of conventional ductile iron at a given level of ductility. Ideal for mining, construction, agricultural, and similar high abrasion applications. Malleable cast iron. Malleable cast iron is produced by heat treating white cast iron to decompose the iron carbide into iron and carbon. Malleable cast iron is a class of cast iron with mechanical strength properties that are intermediates to those of grey and ductile cast iron. The malleable cast iron is ductile and may be bent without breaking or fracturing the section. Its tensile strength is higher than grey cast iron and has excellent machining qualities. The microstructure of malleable cast iron consists of tempered carbon nodules, graphite. Graphite accounts for the very high machinability of malleable cast iron. They are widely used where toughness and machinability are required, and for components that require some ductility such as automotive, agricultural and railroad equipment etc. Compacted Graphite Cast Iron Compacted Graphite Cast Iron, also known as Vermicular Graphite Cast Iron, is a range of cast iron having mechanical and physical properties that intermediate between flake graphite and nodular graphite cast iron. Thus, the properties of compacted graphite cast iron are in between those of grey and ductile cast iron. They appear as short thick flakes. They are of interest because of the useful combination of strength, thermal conductivity, and other properties. The composition of compacted graphite cast irons is more complex than for the other cast iron types. The composition of magnesium, cerium, and other additive must be controlled to produce a microstructure that consists of worm-like graphite particles. At the same time limiting the degree of graphite nodularity and preventing the formation of graphite flakes. Compacted graphite cast iron is used in diesel engine blocks, gearbox housing, brake discs for high-speed trains, etc.